In this video, we're going to print all three sheets in our file. Year 2012, summary, and also table. But the key here is that we're going to be using the group command. And what we're going to do is that we're going to group all three sheets together. Now the benefit there is that whenever we group sheets together is that what is done to one sheet gets done to all the other sheets that are grouped together. As a result, if I group all three of these sheets together, any print commands that I apply to one sheet gets applied to the other two sheets. So let's begin. We're looking at three sheets. And I mean, how we group the sheets, and we want to group all three. We begin by left-clicking on our first sheet, year 2012. Come down to the end here. So we got a middle sheet and a sheet over here, over to the right. Hold down the Shift key and left-click. Now what's happened now is that all three of these sheets are grouped together, and how we know that is that they're all underlined here. But more importantly is that if you look up at the file itself, it's now showing that we've performed a grouping operation. Now once again, when anything is grouped, what's done to one sheet gets copied or done to all the other sheets that are within the grouping range. In order to ungroup the sheets, we hover over the sheets, right click, ungroup sheets. And what's happened is that they're no longer underlined, not all three. Furthermore, when you look at the file, it's not signified as being grouped. So once again, let's start over and we're going to group all three sheets. Go over furthest to the left, left click. That's the beginning of our grouping, our first sheet. It always reads from left to right. So here's our beginning point. Our end point is the table sheet. In order to grab the middle sheet also, we need to hold down the shift key and then left click. All three sheets are underlined. Furthermore, up here, it's being shown as being grouped. Now, we're going to prepare for printing. We're going to do that by going up to the Page Layout tab. Go to Margins. Make them narrow. Orientation. Landscape. So what's done is that all three will be now made into the landscape mode. Next, where we have page setup, we're going to hit the little arrow here, left click and open it up. We're going to go to headers and footers. We're going to start off by going to a custom header. Click over here for custom header. Our header is always broken up into three, three areas, a left header, middle header, and then a right header. In the left header, we're going to put in our page numbers. And once again, you can kind of scroll over here. And it will tell you what each icon stands for. But we're going to insert a page number. We're going to left click here, go into the center header. And next, we want to show our sheet name. Our sheet name is coming over here to the right. Insert sheet name. Left click. Click OK. Next, we're going to do our footer. Custom footer. And for our custom footer, we're going to insert our file name. And we're going to do that in the left, left corner. Click over here. Insert file name. Click OK. Click on Print Preview. We can see that we have three pages. Page 1, the name of our first sheet, and the name of the file. 
page two and page three. And once again, they're all in landscape and they're all numbered with the sheet name and the file name. Thank you.